Let's meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pawana Sapaknang. It's cold and wet outside. If you want to find a good, warm, comfortable place, you have to look inside. There's a passage in the canon where a monk is commenting on how it's raining outside, but his thought is, excuse me, his hut is well thatched. So it can rain as much as it likes. Of course, he's referring to the state of his mind. If your mind is in good shape, then things outside can be any way at all, and you're still in good shape, because your well-being doesn't have to depend on things outside. This is one of the Buddha's great insights, is that our happiness comes from our own actions. It doesn't have to depend on the actions of others. Of course, the corollary of that is that our suffering comes from our own actions as well, so we have to learn how to train ourselves. This is why we meditate, to train the mind so it can have that hut that's well thatched, that warm place inside where you're away from the cold and the wet outside. So focus on your breath. Get a sense of being at home with the breath, being friends with the breath. And the breath energy in the body provides you with the protection. There actually is such a thing as cool breathing or warm breathing, so check to see if your breathing is cool or warm. If it's too cold, okay, warm it up a bit. If it happens to be hot outside, well, think of where the cool sensations are in the body. You have the choice, and where you choose to focus is going to have an impact on what you experience. So try to create this safe center inside that doesn't have to be influenced by things outside. So that when it rains outside, even when it snows, okay, you're still warm here inside. And this hut is made through your own generosity, through your own virtue, and through your own meditation. So make sure that all of your ways of creating well-being are intact. And as John Leaf points out, he often compares restraint of the senses to making sure that the windows and the doors of your hut can open and close tightly. So if there's something outside you don't want to have come in the hut, okay, you close the doors and that's it. When the good thing's coming in, okay, you can open the doors and open the windows. But make sure that they can open and close. So that your warm spot here inside is always well protected. You don't go bringing in thugs and brigands to destroy your home. That's what we often do, is we've got a nice place inside with the meditation, and then we leave the meditation, go out and start bringing in all kinds of things that are going to aggravate our greed, aversion, and delusion. That's like bringing thieves into your house to steal all your things. You go to the trouble of creating a nice house and stocking it with good things, and then you destroy it. So try to maintain your sense of center as you go through the day. Protect your concentration. Because it's one of your main treasures, and it's your, it's your best form of shelter in this world with all of its changes. <laughs>